Okay, Crazy Frank here, half cock gunsmithing, Fresno, California. Um, it's almost silly to do a field strip on this gun. It's a Weatherby 22-250, the Vanguard series, but I'm going to change the trigger. So just in case you don't know how to do a field strip, um, I can show you. It's very simple. There's a small button down here on the left side of the gun that you push down and that allows you to remove the bolt. The bolt then comes right out. At this point you could run your bore snake, your brush or, and everything down the barrel if you wish. You could clean up the barrel and the firing pin area. Um, very simple, but we're going to be changing the trigger in this gun. Um, I happen to be a Timney dealer and it's a personal preference, but I like the Timney triggers. They're made in the USA, they have a lifetime warranty, and they're just, they're a quality piece. <clears throat> so to change the trigger, you have to remove two screws from the bottom of the stock, and they hold in the trigger guard and the magazine spring. So you'll remove those. Then the trigger guard comes right off and the stock comes right off along with the magazine housing. The trigger itself is held in with one screw. Now we can take that screw out and I can show you, well before I do, um, I, I should have checked it. I, I did, but I want to show you. Oh, this is safety's on. Well, maybe I can't because it can't it can't fire because the bolt's not in it. But it has a, a, about a three and a half pound trigger from the factory, and the gentleman wants a two pound trigger, so we're going to be changing the. Um, the trigger. Like I said, one screw and the trigger comes right out. This is actually the part that drops the firing pin mechanism, this little block. If the bolt is in, it's almost impossible to get this to go down into the gun. So much, much easier to remove the bolt. The new trigger, the Timney trigger, um, just, they're just a great trigger. You just place it in here. It comes with a screw, its own screw, because it is a little bit different. And they also give you an Allen wrench to install it. Um, most of us have a complete Allen set, but I'll use the tools that they provided. It's a taper-headed screw, so it really locks the trigger in well. Then you just have to put the stock back on. But what I need to do is I need to set the trigger first. So I'm going to reinstall the, the bolt. And we'll check the trigger. And it's uh, about the same as what was in there at three, at three and a half pounds. I always check them three times. They will vary a little bit. Timneys are pretty accurate. Three, three and a half pounds. Yeah, so he wants a two pound trigger. So to adjust the trigger, there's a nut right here. You loosen the nut and you make to make the trigger stiffer you run the screw in to make the trigger lighter, you run the screw out. So I'm going to go about one and a quarter turns. That should bring me down to close to two pounds, but we'll fine adjust it here in just a minute. Uh, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, two pounds. Still a little bit more than he wanted. He wanted two pounds, so I'll come out a little bit further. 
maybe a quarter of a turn, lock the nut down, and I should be really close to the two pounds that he's looking for. I myself, I'm not a, as two on the money. Two on the money. And just a hair under two. So he now has his two pound trigger. I think three pounds is, is, is a better number, but that's my own personal feeling. At this point, we're going to reinstall. Now the, the magazine has, it, it's symmetrical, except that this side has notches cut in it. That has to go down. So put that into your gun to start with. Put your stock on. Then this should fall right in. And it did. Tighten up your two screws. And you're basically finished. We now have customer requested a, if you can see it, a two pound trigger. And they're a real smooth trigger. Um, I'm really fond of, of uh, Timney. Um, I keep some in stock. I can't afford to stock all of them. They make them for the, the AR-15. I've got a couple of them up here for the Remington 700. They have a straight trigger and a curved trigger. But they're just it's, it's a quality piece, um, and uh, if a guy wants a trigger and they offer it, I always recommend that uh, they buy one of those. But that's about it. It's a simple thing to do. You can do it yourself. The front screw is the trigger adjustment. On the back of the Timney, there's another screw. That is the sear engagement. It's factory set. You don't want to mess with that. They come with the safety already on them. And uh, they're just they're a nice trigger. But anyway, that's the Weatherby 22250 Vanguard Series. Simple to clean. And if you choose to, choose to change the trigger, it's something you can do yourself. And you can adjust it from one and a half up to four pounds. That's the range that Timney designs their triggers to run in. So that's it. Crazy Frank signing out.